Hello guys, my name is Anna and I vlog daily from Ukraine since the start of the brutal Russian invasion. And I have to confess, never have I thought it will take me so long to update you on victories and tragedies of my country during these challenging times, but still there are people who are new to the channel and if you support Ukraine, join, subscribe and help us fight Russian trolls, Russian orcs and Russian terrorism. And in this world of really bad news, because when you read, when you watch news from different corners of the world, many bad things are happening, I want to give you some good messages. And these are about the destructions of two Russian ships in the Black Sea. Black Sea, uh, it seems to me, in ancient Greek legends was always treated as a hostile, dark sea and that's what Russians feel very well right now because more and more their ships and boats are destroyed, burned here and we clean this sea for normal ships, for grain, for sailing and I hope that soon it will be free from all orc vessels subscribe if you want to see that too the way i want to and what happened recently a couple of days ago um two vessels were severely uh, damaged um, this is one that is known as pavel derjavin and it's a petrol ship that actually causes panic and stress in the waters and a tugboat uh, that came to rescue it and it was also targeted. At the beginning, Russians thought it was their own underwater mine because they mine everything as crazy, they mine everything as terrorists, we will need years to clean the aquatorium and lots of Ukrainian territories, but later and they have uh, supported that too, they could not deny the fact two of these vessels were damaged in the result of underwater drone work and i'm so happy to know that ukrainians together with allies develop such technologies as underwater drones and they are really dangerous to russian vessels what is also good according to the results of british intelligence service russians are very much afraid of their ships being destroyed and if they have to choose between the blockade of the black sea and the destruction of their vessels they will try to save the vessels and we see they very quickly move almost all of them to novorossiysk and potentially soon they will clear the black sea this also demonstrates this terrorist or character of Russians because they totally do not care about people and we see that now in Avdiivka. Approximately 1000 Russian soldiers are killed there daily. Nobody cares. But if we are talking about a sheep and that is always very um, important for totalitarian, authoritarian regimes, dictatorships, they care about material things more than they care about people and now Russia is slowly or actually not slowly leaving the uh, Black Sea and of course this is important for the renovation of Ukrainian uh, trade please thumbs up any comments because I see that views are dropping and uh, I don't know maybe that's just a wave which happens or maybe this is lack of interest in Ukrainian causes and fatigue but I don't want to think that way so uh, anyway these are good news because uh, we lose approximately 40 percent of um, revenue of earnings from Ukrainian ports and of course this hits Ukrainian economy there are lots of countries that are dependent on Ukrainian products that could only be delivered from our ports so when we make this trade, the sailing available in the Black Sea, we actually uh, bring one more victory to the future normality and peace on this uh, planet. And uh, we have to continue doing that. Maybe we will hear more and we will learn more about what that underwater drones are. And uh, at the moment, I realize it is one of the major tasks for Ukrainian armed forces to damage more and more Russian vessels in the Black Sea so that they leave and 
allow normal trading and it's also important uh, in future to free the sea of Azov which also belongs to Ukraine. Ukraine is a rich country that has two seas the Black Sea, the Sea of Azov. We were always using them in normal terms like for trade, for traveling, for um, <clears throat> anything good. Contrary to global terrorist Russians that use seas for various bad underwater operations with their submarines, uh, for spying and I'm sure if you all come from a sea country and you are located not far away from Russia you had a lot of such accidents when Russian submarines, Russian spies accidentally popped up somewhere um, in the waters of your seas. So we have to be very careful and we have to continue fighting. I hope you like this update and maybe more and more good news will come. That's exactly what is needed. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. This war continues. It's awful for how long and we still do not see the end. Uh, thank you for buying me coffees, becoming my patrons and giving me inspiration to continue. Introduce yourself to our merch store that has lots of beautiful Ukrainian heritage uh, switch, uh, sweatshirts, hoodies. Uh, subscribe to my Instagram, threads and Twitter, join my Discord community, but most importantly, thank you for your continued support of my country Ukraine. This means a lot, this is everything to us. And Slava Ukraini!